All right, update on Elon. I'm going to make this a quick one because I talked about the technicals in my last video. I do just want to update you on a quick fractal playing out on the moving averages, talking about my prediction from the last video. My price target is still the same and we'll just be updating you on the lower time frames on the momentum indicators because they look like they're starting to gear up for that move to the downside like we predicted previously. So jumping into the macro charts, if we start off on the daily time frame, just like we predicted in the last video, we were saying we're probably going to get rejected from these daily EMA ribbons and start to have that next major leg back down to the downside. And that is exactly what we've done. We came into the daily EMA ribbons. We predicted this while we were halfway through them at, uh, God, I'm not going to say that many zeros, 4108. And now we're down at 3302. We were initially predicting for a 60% drop down to the 1610 level. And so far we've come down 20%, which is great. Uh, I do think this is going to continue to head down to the downside, which should mean that if my prediction is right, we're going to head down another 51%. So nothing has changed in that regard. My price target is still down at these lower levels you can see a tiny bit of volume is stepping in i'd really like to see continuation in this bearish volume because it is starting to uh to subside a tiny bit nonetheless i do think looking at the general markets looking at what's going on in bitcoin we've come into the four hour ema ribbons made a rounding top uh all of bitcoin's oscillators and momentum indicators like the squeeze mom and the macd are all heading down and this should allow Bitcoin to head down. Uh, also, stock market's the same. Stock market looks like it wants to head down. So with all these things together, Elon is very, very likely to follow Bitcoin, which is likely to follow the stock market. And they all in tandem look like they want to break down to this price target of 160. The MFI, the money flow indicator, has been relatively stagnant on the day. It has come up to this level many, many times. If we draw you know, a box up here. I mean, we came up to 71, then we came up to 56, and then we came up to 64. So we have come up to this box many, many times. And if we do start falling out of this, you're going to see a very, very quick drop back down to the downside, just like you did here, just like you did here. This is a big box. If we do fall down below it, we're going to lose a lot of strength. On the four hourly time frame, a lot of people have already started to sell. You can see the MFI has drastically dropped from the top of this wick up here we were at 89 on the MFI and we're now down here at 19 which should be indicative that we are technically oversold but pair everything together follow the volume on the lower time frames in the, in the past 12 hours we've started to see a lot of Elon being sold you know within this four hourly candle alone which is so yeah this this would be playing out um this was the previous four hourly candle i didn't even see this down here because this is the buying volume of the new candle can you see that yeah you might be able to if you squint your eyes i didn't see it either that is th that those are the buyers coming in to step up the market right now in the past hour and four minutes we've had three billion elon bought let's go back to the previous four hourly candle and bear in mind if you're being uh, conservative you should technically slice this number in four because this is a four hourly candle and so far with this we've only had an hourly candle so let's technically go back to the hourly let's look at how the previous one did in the previous hour 311 billion elon was sold and on this one on this hourly candle that is now closing we're going to be opening a new one we've got three billion elon bought so it, it definitely shows you there are more but there are more sellers in this market than buyers i think a lot of people uh, a lot of degenerates trade this and you know if you're listening to this if you're new to the channel and you're hearing me call you a degenerate because you're trading this uh first of all i hold elon I, I call everyone a degenerate who trades this crypto because if you're trading dog cranes then you are a degenerate i'm also a degenerate I think this is going to have a very, very nice bull run when it goes into the next cycle, which is why I hold it. It's my favorite dog crane. It's got a funny name. It's got a funny picture. It's got a low market cap. It's got some interesting uh, companies backed behind it that are investing in it and trying to develop the ecosystem. Nonetheless, it is a worthless dog crane. It is a worthless dog crane that I find funny to invest in though. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. Uh, I'm not bashing your bulls if you are an Elon holder. However, you are a degenerate, just like myself. Uh, coming up to the top of this, you can see we have also formed, I mean, technically, if we draw this to the candle bodies, this would make a lot more sense because the left shoulder would be above the head. If we draw candle bodies, because bear in mind, this is very, very euphoric, low market cap, this can allow us to shoot up very quickly. We formed a head and shoulders. Uh, I'm not going to take the price target of this just because it's, it's very, very mundane. We'd be 
basically coming down to 304-ish, uh, down to this level. I think we should follow the volume, follow the oscillators, and pairing everything together. It looks like we've just set up for a very nasty rejection of the daily EMA ribbons, and we would be starting to head down. Before we do wrap up the video, though, let's make sure that uh, we're not, you know, jumping the gun on this. Let's see what the momentum is saying at this moment in time. Lower time frames on the four hour, you can see the squeeze mom has had a drastic swing to the downside. This is brutal. Normally, when you see these huge, huge euphoric runs to the downside, you get blow off uh, bearish, uh, bearish capitulations like this and like this. You know, when you see a less bearish, somewhat stagnant uh, decrease in the squeeze bomb, you, you can sometimes see something like this, which is just slowly, slowly trickling down and then eventually top out, have a dead cat bounce before the next rollover. But when you drop down like this, it's normally a sign that you are about to see continuation. Uh, four hourly squeeze bomb as well, this is coming back down to the heart line after making a lower high. So you can see high, lower high, lower high. It looks like we're about to blast ourselves back down to the downside as this is capitulating. If we look at the OBV, since this most recent pump, the on balance volume is very, very overextended. So just like the MFI, I imagine a lot of money is going to start flowing out of the ecosystem very, very soon. Now, if this was any other altcoin, I'd probably say something like this. This would be your first leg to the downside, a 33% drop down to 2212. But as you know, the market cap of this is, is very, very low. So I imagine by the time I've uploaded this, this is already going to be down. So, you know, bear in mind if we zoom out, I do really think that we should probably start targeting... Uh, the wicks up here if we drag this out a little bit more you can see this was previous resistance here resistance here resistance here resistance here we flipped a support boom so this is a massive point of control and subsequently this is the next major level of point of control that we would be breaking down to that is basically all i've got for elon i would also just like to quickly show you or just to recap that Elon is not the only crypto that is heading down right now. You know, uh, also Elon is heading down below the four hourly EMA. So this also should be indicative that we're about to have a bearish breakdown. Uh, the, like I said, Bitcoin, Bitcoin is creating a rounding top. Its momentum indicators are also looking pretty dire at this moment in time. The SPY, the stock market is also having a nasty drop. If we open the weekly time frame, you can see every dead cat bounce followed up by a red candle capitulation, dead cat bounce, red candle capitulation, dead cat bounce, red candle capitulation dead cat bounce red candle capitulation it is not looking good for the stock market and the dollar's heading up so uh elon is going to be correlated to the stock market because bitcoin is so elon just follows bitcoin for the most part uh bitcoin is inversely correlated to the dollar so the dollar being strong and the stock market being weak is a double whammy blow for bitcoin and it's just not good for the overall market structure elon's going to follow bitcoin and subsequently this next level down is going to be coming very very soon like i said just like yourselves, if you are watching this video, I am also a dirty degenerate that will be planning to buy some Elon, potentially if we do come down to 1647. I really do think this is going to be a great project to hold for the long term. I think it's got a promising future. But once again, like I said, if you are buying this and thinking it's got you know, amazing fundamentals and it's going to be around for the next 10, 20 years. It's absolutely not. These meme cranes are going to come and go like the wind. And I'm simply here to take advantage of this trend. I am probably going to sell all of my Elon or most of my Elon coming into the next market cycle. I really don't think it's a good idea to hold uh, meme cranes and all of that stuff cycle over cycle over cycle because they're just going to get inflated with tons of new meme coins all the time so with that being said uh, i'm not hating on this as you can tell i've said this many times before i do like this project i am holding it but this is not a forever hold this is a this is a trade that i'm going to be looking to buy cheap when we do capitulate and then i will be looking to hopefully have this have a massive run up and then i will let some of my bags go that is all i've got for elon uh it looks like lower price targets are coming before we do have that next leg to the upside as always not financial advice cowboy out peace